Mm, as you can see, it is 9.30 in the morning and no, I did not go sleep and wake up like you're probably thinking, okay, he's gone to sleep. No, no I still haven't gone to sleep and this is not good. I think it's that nap that I took during the day, man. I took a nap around 6, 6, 5, I don't know, up until like 9, 30, 10. I can't remember man, I took a nap though, but it went from one hour to two hours. I think I mentioned it, but yeah, that's messed me up. I've edited, <clears throat> I did a drawing, edited a vlog, which I will be uploading today, and I tried to go to sleep and I just, I just couldn't. So I'm gonna here, gonna make food, eat up, sit and watch the wire for a bit, probably finish off my puzzle, and I'll go sleep when my body says to me, it's time to sleep, because I, I'm not tired. Um, <clears throat> and I trained to I trained to twice yesterday. I got shoulders and arms today, so yeah, I'm just gonna make breakfast today. I'm gonna go for a low carb day, so my breakfast is gonna be an omelet. Come on, let's get it. Time is, as you can see, it's right outside. It's actually 12 o'clock. Still haven't gone to sleep. I've actually edited, done a voiceover and everything. So I've done work um, since I've been sitting in my room. Um, so I can't really complain. I can't be like, oh man, I've been staying up. I haven't done nothing. I stayed up, I've done work. Um, but now I'm gonna try and force myself to sleep until like four o'clock, um, get a couple hours in. If I can drag it till five, six, then I'm probably gonna try, but if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna be. I keep complaining, saying, nah, I should be sleeping, I should be doing this. But really and truly, if I'm working, it doesn't really matter what time I go to sleep. As long as work is getting done, you know? Like, I work for myself. There's no like schedule that says, you have to be up at five in the morning. No, like, why should I be up five in the morning if I don't feel like waking up at five in the morning? You know, I'm more creative and everything at night. That's when I really feel like I get my work done, like I've mentioned multiple times. Um, but yeah, that nap definitely damaged my sleeping pattern and drinking that monster did not help, did it? But anyways, let me go try and get a couple hours and then we're gonna go and hit shoulders and arms later on today. Um, that's the only session we're doing today and we're gonna bang out a bit of cardio and then come home, more work. <laughs> this is it, ladies and gentlemen, more work. It's the rest time that my body does what it needs to do. So that's the only, like, if I wasn't a bodybuilder, I could care less if I'm sleeping three, four hours a day. No, I don't care, you know? But the fact that I'm a bodybuilder is like, it contradicts, you know? Being an artist, you gotta chuck in them hours, you know? When you're in the zone, banging out this masterpiece, and it just takes you 48 hours, you're just like, ah, whatever, you know? But then you're like, oh, I'm a bodybuilder, so I need to rest in order for my body to grow and develop the way I want it to and get the results that I want. I need to be sleeping them eight hours. But no, your boy doesn't know that, does he? The guy hardly sleeps two hours in a fucking week. Oh, oh, I'll catch you lot later. <laughs> so I am awake now and I'm about to head to the gym. It is currently six o'clock. And yeah, I slept pretty well. I slept from what? 12.31 to five o'clock, so. Got a couple of hours in, um, but it's not good enough. Just put it out there, it's not good enough. Um, gonna go splash shoulders and arms and I'm gonna come home, talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind for a while, you know? Um, about basically to, taking you guys back to the beginning of Musa Loves Fitness, before I even became Musa Loves Fitness. But when I first fell in love with fitness, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how um, those years of the beginning those in inconsistent years, how they have got me to where I am now. Um, because fitness has always been a love of mine since the first time I went to the gym with my dad at the age of 15. Um, but of course, it's a bumpy road, but I'm thankful I went through the road. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that when I come back from the gym. Clever Musa when I forgot his wallet, everything basically, wallet, travel card, everything. So. I had to come back up, get it. Yeah, clever. Extra steps, extra cardio, you okay? um, know? And pre-workout, this pre-workout. I had a banana, 
and the scoop of protein. Yeah, that's my pre-workout. I'm gonna have chicken and rice when I come back, which I'm looking forward to. Let's go. It's raining as well, which is not surprising because this weather is so depressing. It's always gonna be raining, isn't it? Like, why? Why is it always gonna be raining? Oh, it's raining bears, fam. See you later, gym, man. So, to end the day, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about how I built my own gym from the age of 17. I'm saying 17. Yeah, from 17 up until 21, um, I trained mainly at home and this is due to one going to university um, so like just going to the gym was like eh, you know and I was doing a lot of work at home like home projects and stuff anyone that goes to uni you know what it's like you know you gotta take all your work with you home <laughs> and do it there so for me it was like you know do like two three hours of work go hit a bench press or something do a couple of chin ups you know then get back to work type of situation but to go all the way to the gym work out come home Back then, for me, it was a drag. It was just like, ugh. And you, and you know London. London's always raining, so it's just even, it was even worse. Um, but my focus was mainly on uni, so I decided to basically build my own gym. Um, some of the equipment that I had, which let's take it back a bit. So, when did I start? When, I, when did I fall in love with the whole fitness thing? I think it was when I was just 15 turning 16, my dad took me to the gym for the first time. It was like a proper, proper like bodybuilder gym in Ilford. You know, like security guards, you know, that, that type of bodybuilding gym where it was just massive humans. Um, that's all there was in Ilford. Um, of course, the majority of them were taking, you know, the stuff. Um, you could just tell. But a lot, of them, a lot of them were like security guards and stuff. And my dad loved that gym. Um, I guess it was just a place, like, now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, my dad used to go, he used to go to the gym, like, straight after work. So he will finish work. Um, around 5, 6 in the morning and he would go straight there, work out and then come home and sleep for the day because he worked nights. So uh, for him, I, I'm, now I can see it, it was a place where he could just go and not think about anything. You know what I mean? Just, you know, just these big guys, everyone's just lifting weights and just, it's just good energy, good vibes. Um, and I feel like that was his like safe place. Um, and he took me there and yeah. The next couple of days, I couldn't straighten my arms at all, you know, um, <laughs> but it was an experience. I just fell in love with the whole getting that pump and, you know, just lifting weights. Uh, so, yeah, that was definitely the first experience and um, I loved it so much. Um, after that, 16, 17, I, was, I didn't go gym. I didn't go to like a gym gym. I think I joined a gym membership when I was like, yeah 17 I think around 17 but before from 16 upwards I started buying things um, to put in my house so I think the first thing I bought was a bench press I bought a bench a home bench um, with a barbell and I also had dumbbells and I had the plates that you can put on like the metal ones I'm um, not the ones you can fill up with sand nah man wasn't using that you know so I had the plates um, so yeah I had a bench I had the plates and slowly after that I started like buying more <laughs> so start with the bench with the dumbbells you know so i had dumbbells i could do curls short the press all that stuff um, my kitchen top because my kitchen wasn't that wide so i used to do dips put my legs up here um here where the sink is and then the other side where the microwave is so i used to put my hands here legs here and i used to do dips me and my brother used to do dips so i'll be cooking while my food is cooking i'll do dips like here and there so i've always been a very active person Football as well is a big part. I used to play football like every weekend with my boys. You know, the Hainu gang, you lot know. Uh, we used to play football like all week. So I've always been a very active person. It was just at that period of time, when I was in uni, is when I put on the most weight. Um, and that's why I want to talk to you guys about me building my own gym at home because I want to show you guys that, you know, just because you put on an excess amount of body fat and stuff like that, doesn't mean there's nothing underneath all them layers of body fat you know what i mean doesn't mean that that person's not working or whatnot so um yeah i bought my first gym from 16 i bought a bench dumbbells then i went on to like the chin up bar so i had the chin up bar that you hooked on your door and the one you could do that um what did i buy after that i bought like you know where you could do cable flies and whatnot 
I had the one that you could actually hook onto your door as well. So you can do like cable flies, you can do cable curls, all that stuff. So I literally had that in my house as well. So chin up bar on this door, cable thing on that door. I had the resistant bands as well. You know, you could do like resistant ones you can travel with and stuff. Um, what else did I have? And then I had the push up things that you could like rotate to do different angles. I bought so much fitness things. I basically had a home gym and these were the only things you really needed in order to make gains. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my home gym. And I also used to do Insanity created by Sean T. If you guys don't know about Insanity, then yeah, <laughs> you're lucky. Cause actually no, Insanity helped me a lot. You know, just using your own body weight to do exercises definitely molded my body. Um, so I'm very thankful to Insanity and in increased my endurance as well. So Insanity was great. I used to do that a lot because I lived in a house, not an apartment. So my f there was no one living underneath me so I could jump and all that stuff. Obviously now I'm living in an apartment, there's old people in this building. I can't do Insanity, even though I would love to do it like every morning. That's just solid cardio. You're burning up to a thousand calories in one session. How, like, that's legit. Um, so that's basically my home gym for about four or five years. Um, I did not go to an actual gym. Like I had a gym membership, but you can ask my boy Lee and my brother, there was times where they didn't see me for months. Like, especially my third year of uni, I did not touch, that's when I put on the most weight. Cause there was sleepless nights. I wasn't getting enough sleep. I was, I was going like two, three days without sleep. Prison break was my best friend. Let me just put it out there. I was zooming through prison break, like zig, zig, zig. Um, energy drinks, up on energy drinks and not the sugar free ones, sugar, sugar, the monsters. You know, the, the what relentless we have in UK, relentless, the energy drinks, you know, the snacking. Um, so I got up to like 120 kg. Um, and when I used to tell people that, people were like, wait, 100 to please. I'm six foot three. So 120 kg is not really that difficult to get, um, especially when you're not sleeping, you're not doing any type of exercise. I was exercising at home, but it wasn't enough. I was, I was always in a caloric surplus, so I couldn't see it, you know? Um, and yeah that's that's that was my home gym it was fun you know but, but the reason why i'm saying this is i'm saying like <clears throat> during those those times you know me putting on excess weight i still had the mindset of i know i can get back into shape once i'm done with uni you know what i mean i'm like okay i've let myself not let myself like ridiculous because i you could still tell that i lifted weights you know you could look at me and say okay this guy trains you know what i mean it wasn't like oh you're just fat it was like, okay, we know you're lifting weights. The body fat, cheek, my, my face can tell. That's what you can tell if I'm if I'm out of shape. My face, my cheeks flare up. Uh, that's the first place. And then obviously the lower body, like the belly and that stuff. Um, upper body hair stays fairly lean throughout the year. Um, so that's why I don't have like crazy stretch marks or anything like that because the weight that I was gaining was like gradual. It wasn't just like zoom, boom, I put on weight, you know, cause I was still exercising, doing insanity every now and then, but the surplus was a bit too high. Um, so I put on weight. Um, and the, what I'm trying to tell you guys is, someone like Simeon Panda, like, you know, he did home training for like five, six, seven, six, seven years, nothing but home training. Um, and I did it for like four, four, five, four, four, eight, yeah, four or five years home training. Um, the reason why I'm saying this home training is a good thing is because one, you don't compare yourself to anyone. It's just you in the house doing your thing, you know, just lifting weights, enjoying the process, you know, um, and you can do it constantly. Like whenever you feel like lifting weights, you can lift weights. It's not like, oh, I only have to train an hour today and that stuff. I don't know why people restrict themselves. Like you're working out. Like how can that not benefit you at all? You know what I mean? Like. If you're doing like two, three hundred chin-ups a day, you know what I mean? People are like, that's too much. Why? Why is that too much? You know, you're just getting better at doing chin-ups and you're shaping your back. Um, so home training is a, a, a must if you can. If, you, if you're living in a house, I advise you to try home training. Like if you can go to the gym every day, then cool, that's good for you. Um, do that because obviously the gym it has all the equipment that you need. But if you can't, then obviously try home training. Home training is good. Do a lot of like body weight exercises, pull ups, press ups, dips, all that stuff. Um, this will definitely shape your body. Uh, even now, even though I've got gym, two gym memberships, I still do push ups in my room, you know, dips and stuff like that. So those those things you can never overdo. Just do it as much as you can. Um, but yeah, home training definitely pushed 
my passion for fitness um, and once I was done with uni obviously I came back to Denmark and obviously joined straight gym membership and because I was a night person most gyms in England close around 10 so there was no tw there was no such thing as 24 hour gyms in London um, at, that, at that time that I knew of um, the one I used to go to Synergy closed at 10 um, I think it was even 8 at that time was it no 10 um, and then I came here and then I've discovered 24 hour gyms I was like yay problem you know that's when I was like okay it's over it's done join the gym and then obviously from there I've been consistent for the last five years you know minimum of five times a week um, the first two years I did no cardio I literally just lifted weights use all that excess body fat and strength um, because the bigger you are the more you can push it's just uh, it's just the way it works um, and even though I was already lifting weights before that so it wasn't like I was new to it um, so yeah I just the first two years walked past all the cardio machines just lifted weights 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 and this is why I got a question the other day asking about should I like lean bulk or should I like dirty bulk and that's the reason why I'm talking to you guys about like, my beginnings and everything um, talking about how I put on the excess fat and all that stuff um, it was very important to where I am today like I feel like that dirty bulk benefited me more than it tortured me if you know what I mean I feel like it was very beneficial to my my physique you know because when you have excess body fat you can push more um, when you eat a lot but I was eating a lot of home food it was not like I was eating out I was eating a lot of home cooked food because um, I learned how to cook at the age of 12 so home cooked meals um, most of the time but again like I said caloric surplus if you're eating over what you need to be eating you're gonna put on weight um, so dirty bulking definitely helped me and then it made me be able to build a, a certain amount of muscle um, with the energy I was giving myself through food um, so under eating I definitely wouldn't look the way I look now that's for sure <laughs> but yeah I'm an advocate of not that you can you can lean bulk but I feel like lean bulking just takes longer you know what I mean um, but yeah I only started cutting for the last three years before that I never when people used to like I didn't even know the whole term cutting you know what I mean what I knew was lift the weights <laughs> that's what I knew lift the weights the heavier the better that's all I knew I never knew anything about oh you got a lean bulk or you got a cut you know body fat percentage I didn't know nothing all I knew was to shift weights shift weights and to shift more weight that's literally all I knew all this about diet or you need to be eating it none of that none of that mattered it was just eat food get the fuel tank up and shift weight and I feel like now people are trying to with obviously social media everything is trying to get so like detailed you know try to, try to make everything complicated um, and I feel like a lot of young people are like mm, you know I've got to look lean all year round but I want to build muscle it's like you can't do both at the same time you know what I mean like you can't be looking lean all year round unless your surplus is like a hundred calories that's some bullshit you're not going to be building mu muscle fast at all with that type of mentality you know what I mean like someone like Chris Jones another person that avid like he always talks about fat Jones that's when he makes the most gains when he when he when he box dirty box you know what I mean he's getting enough calories in his system he's training like a madman you know muscles just growing you know and for him it's worth it because when he cuts down you know once he loses it it's obviously takes longer to lose the body fat but the muscle developed is way is is way greater than when you're doing it like a lean bulk um of course health and all that stuff if you want to go that deep what's healthier of course lean bulk is healthier um but i don't know i don't know it just depends on the person me personally i'm not gonna bulk or cut again um i don't i don't use that term right now i'm just living my life lifestyle i'm going with obviously i'm wearing an eight week cut as you call it but it's just me basically cleaning up my diet trying to lose a bit of body fat um and just maintain it that's pretty much it i'm not trying to compete i'm not doing none of that stuff so going on like a crazy crazy diet type of situation i'm not gonna do it you know i'm doing something that's maintaining it. like my me my message is love life and you can't be loving life when you're on like minimal calories going walking around angry face all that stuff it's not gonna work you know that, that, that i'm just going against my message um so yeah that's that's what i'm doing right now i'm just living life loving life 
look good, feel good type of way. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's up to you. Um, I just want to tell you guys about my beginnings and where it all started and how I've become such in love with fitness and yeah. So that's, that's pretty, I've been talking for a very long time, it's like 14 minutes. Yes! Uh, <laughs> I will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, right now I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, and yeah, catch you up tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Smash the thumbs up. And love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.